Good evening, everybody. It's John from Veganism Kills. It's 8.32 p.m. Wednesday, July 28th. Today, we got a recent study out of Cambridge University, Risk and Benefits of Vegan Vegetarian Diets in Children. From January 2021. Now, this, diet, this study is telling that the vegan diet is inappropriate for children. Here it goes. Case histories of malnutrition and serious harm persist, including irreversible neurological damage due to vitamin B12 deficiency among unsupplemented children. The evidence available to evaluate the nutritional appropriateness of vegetarian diets for children is inadequate and dated. So when vegans say the science is in, no it's not. Case histories of malnutrition and serious harm persist, including there's other stuff that's going on here. Let's go. Let's look for another couple of keywords. And then they also talk about other people's studies. So vegans don't get happy after you read this, but look what he says. No. The study includes, they're talking about another study that's been published in the 80s show that they provide sufficient care is taken a vegan diet can meet nutrition requirements of preschool children, right? But then you go down to the risk to harm to young children on restrict, re restrictive diets is very real. Debunking this guy's bullshit. And there are multiple case histories of the modern literature of failure to thrive, nutritional rickets, and severe development delay caused by inappropriate vegan diets. Most cases are attributable to inaccurate information or mistrust of the medical profession. Seated by Dr. Greg, you know, you can't trust the modern medical profession because they're in big ads. Pocket. That fucking guy is a fraud. Meanwhile, he takes money from, uh, big fake meat companies. Alright, so there you go. They're, they, they're quoting a vegan doctor make bullshit and then they're telling you no, he's wrong. The more restrictive the diet and the younger the child, the greater the risk. Nutrients and potential concern are usually protein quantity and quality. Iron, zinc, selenium, calcium, vitamin A, D, B12. Essential fatty acids, namely DHA, an A linolenic acid, although some of these nutrients, vitamin E not consist considered at risk nutrients in many children, there are additional aspects particular to a vegetarian and vegan children that make exaggerate the vulnerability, including their relatively higher dietary fiber intake and a higher intake of food components, phytates and oxalates that limit nutrient bioavail bioavailability. Like I've been saying all the time, oxalates, oxalates, oxalates. But the vegans, you know, it's more important that they get their fucking YouTube check or or their ebook sales. Eat thirty eat thirty bananas a day. It's perfectly okay. Here they talk about the Oxford study: how vegans' bones break like toothpicks. Previous reports of lower bone mineral density and higher fraction risk among vegetarians compared with me have recently been challenged. Challenged, but they have nothing. Nothing. They challenged the Oxford, but they weren't able to friggin' debunk it. What is the evidence base for adverse effects of vegetarian diets in children? Let's just see. Here it is. We'll just go down. Let's see. Uh, in this state, they called uh, vegan kids macrobiotic children had nutritional rickets 90% in winter, 
had nutritional records and there was a marked growth failure in weight, length, head circumference, weight for length, arm circumference, no gains in fat or muscle mass of arms over the previous year. Global development delay, particularly in the gross motor skills, was noted in macrobiotic children who are three months late to walk on their own. The authors concluded that similar longitudinal studies were required among other vegetarian populations. That's how bad it is now. They now now they're going to go out and do the studies, vegans, that you said were the science is out there. Science rests its case and supports veganism. And any vegan that tells you that is a bullshitter. And I'll post the study here. Veganism is not good for children. It's not good for adults either. But hey, if you want to do it and you're an adult, fine. But don't destroy a child's life. Do not murder these children. Again, August is save a vegan child's life today. This is my contribution. And, and if I do see somebody now feeding their kid a vegan diet, and that kid doesn't look good to me, I'm calling CPS. On that note, I'm out of here. Save a vegan child's life. Turn them in.